So streamers have taken over the internet and one of the dudes who's leading the way is Kai Sinat. If you're not familiar with his content, I'll play you the most viewed video I could find. Hey, um, one second. I just have to I go mean, grab you know something. What? I bet, bet, go ahead. Yeah! So you get the idea. He's targeting teenage lads. There's a lot of chicks on there. He's He's got, you know, silly humor and he's very loud, constantly screaming uh, to make sure that the current wave of ADHD children we've created are highly entertained. Now, the thing about this lad and many like him is they've got an insane amount of success with a limited amount of brain cells. And I'm not even saying that to hate on the guy. Like, good luck to him and all of these dudes. Like, they're making their money and I'm happy for them for that. But when you get money, the hangers on come with it. The leeches, the people who are in it for themselves, looking at you, not as a person, but as an opportunity. And unfortunately for Kai, he's been the victim of something pretty shit. A woman he shared the night with, and probably a few nights by the looks of it, has taken some photographs of him while he was asleep, including this one, uh, things are blurred out by the way, of him naked and exposing his cock online. Now speaking from experience, men get treated very differently when anything like this happens, and I do feel really bad for the guy. I mean, this is a crime. This is a completely bang out of order thing for anyone to do to another person, man or woman. She took a few more videos of him passed out on her like this, and you you're looking at these pictures of this poor guy just completely unconscious thinking what the fuck is this woman doing at what point is this okay in your head like you absolute fucking trash bag well that's actually the issue here is she is a trash bag and like when you look into it you kind of should have known that mate like and i'm not victim blaming here at all but like there's just also like ways to learn from bad situations do you know what i mean and i think there's a lot that he could learn from this so this lovely lady in question known as layla red or layla red cakes, which apparently the cakes are fake anyway, by the way. She'd claimed that she'd received like a five grand payment from him. She so showed a screenshot and then said that she was demanding more money that she was owed from him. Niggas always be recording bitches and always be exposing bitches and all this shit like that. But when a motherfucker get put on the spot back then it's a motherfucking problem. So you're telling me that because other people have done this to other people before, that completely justifies what you are doing to this man right now. Okay then, just glad we got that covered. Now you mad, huh? Cause I'm trying to get my coins, bitch. Huh? Fuck you mad at me for? It's how the fucking game go. Charge it to the game, bitch. Stop crying. All y'all motherfucking weak ass niggas just mad. Lame asshole. Okay, okay, I think we've heard enough from her. She's got no remorse. She doesn't give a shit because this is the game for her, right? She's been a prostitute since well before she met Kai from everything I've read online anyway. Which begs the question why someone as successful as him is allowing her in his house, in his bed, going to sleep on her, trusting her. I don't know what the fuck he was thinking. As I said, he's got a lot to learn, the kid. But that still doesn't make it okay. So let's see how he's handling it. Everything will come to light. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. This guy is absolutely mad, actually. When you think about what he's dealing with, it's a very strange way to sort of perform how he's handling it. No weapon shall prosper. You mean to tell me that the other... F -f 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 the $5,000... What's cat? He's saying that the screenshot of the five grand she apparently received from him first was a lie. And now he takes us through his Apple Pay history to disprove that he gave her any money. Okay, as you can see, these are my good friends. Um, there's an Escalade in there that my, my dudes get 2,000 whenever, whenever she wants, she get whatever she want. Okay, nothing there. She saved that Layla Red in my phone on God. I don't know why it matters if you paid her or not at this point. The horse has bolted, bro. I guess he's just trying to shut everything down. And fair play. Hair stylist, facial lady, flyer artist, Layla Red, $50. Okay, so he did give her 50 quid, apparently. As the, the bomb sound imploding, that's what that signifies. $50 only. I got you Uber, $50. <laughs> okay. Now, ironically, she's got her own screen recording of the 5,000 in question. Message. Well, okay. didn't have to lie. Don't let him cap y'all. I'm a little bit confused as to who thinks they're winning here because on the one hand, he's saying, yeah, I didn't pay you. Joke's on you. You had sex with her for free, all right. It's still her. She's still not someone you want to be seen dead with. She's over there admitting she's a prostitute. Like, <laughs> you gave me five grand for sex. Yeah. You're a prostitute then. Who's winning here? I don't understand that. So this is her saying I want the rest. And guess what? This story gonna give me the rest, I bet you that. Do you not think I know that I'm one of the biggest streamers to walk this earth and I'm not 10 steps ahead 
I, I'm sorry because I'm I'm so humble, but I don't want <laughs> I don't want to snap, bro. But I'm not ten steps ahead of everything people do. I feel like there's a lot of emotion coming out, and I totally understand why. Because what he's gone through is horrendous. But like, you're not ten steps ahead here. And the minute you let this poisonous woman enter your life, you fucked up, man. And this has happened to many men, many, many, many successful, intelligent men. But that's what's happened here. Do you know what an NDA is? Let me go ahead and explain it to you. NDA is a non-disclosure agreement are legally enforceable contracts that create a confidential relationship between a person She signed an NDA, we get the point Which you signed, Kiara Rush, you signed that, Kiara Rush You did, you did, and it protects me from everything that we've ever talked about or ever Here's the issue with her signing the NDA is when someone has so little they've got nothing to fucking lose and when you're dealing with the trash bags of society like he clearly has been what is she gonna give a shit about breaking the law for? She does it all the fucking time, man, she's a hooker! It's her job to break the law! You think she gives a fuck about an NDA. I'm sorry. I'm sorry because I do feel for this guy. But I'm just saying, when you go that low down with a woman who's got nothing to lose like that and think that she's going to give a, a, a shit about an NDA, you're sadly mistaken, clearly. It doesn't protect you from anything unless that person has something to lose too. And let's remember, this is who we're talking about here. He put it in her ass. <laughs> no, but this is the thing, right? He thought her signing an NDA would matter. Like, I'm sorry. She doesn't give a shit. She's rapping about him putting it up her ass, man. She has no shame. Zero fucks given. She hasn't even got a budget for the music video. That should tell you everything. No wonder the five grand mattered. Put it in my pussy, then my ass and made me giggle. Tell you what, that slaps. Get that on in the car. And now, a word from our sponsors. Time to talk about one of my favorite brands in the world, and that's Manscaped. Why, you ask? Well, you don't know the struggles that we used to go through back in the day. You don't know what it was like trimming your balls when all we had was a razor and a prey. The nicks, the cuts. It looked like a Saw movie when you were done. Now, with Manscaped, it's smooth. If it was any smoother, it'd be like avocados. And again, risk-free. There is no blood, there is no scary bits anymore. This is unbelievable. Without Manscaped, none of that would be possible. Thank you. Manscaped. For not just one, but three ball trimmers. These guys really know what they're doing. The Lawnmower 3.0 Plus, 4.0 Pro, and 5.0 Ultra. Each trimmer is equipped with skin safe technology, an LED spotlight, and unique features for different grooming needs. And they're waterproof, by the way, so you can do this anywhere. And if you're taking it on the go, these trimmers come with a travel case and even a travel lock to avoid any accidental powering and or weird looks in the airport. So upgrade your ball trimmer and upgrade your life with Manscaped. I'm telling you, it works. And you can get 20% off and free shipping when you use my code TRUE at checkout. That's capital T-R-U-E at checkout at manscaped.com slash true. So he's got some audio of her trying to blackmail him in their final conversation. So he must have had a suspicion that this was coming. I'm just like, I'm not blackmailing me, me, me for a photo, mm -hmm. for, for money, Never say give and you took a picture of me without my consent. Naked. So? Revenge porn. I ain't posted. That's revenge porn. You th but you're threatening it. You're threatening to. One more time. You're threatening to, though. One more time. Okay, so we get the point. She did it. But I just keep thinking, despite me feeling sorry for this guy, how did you think she was a good person to spend time with? When there's videos of her online that I've just found of her admitting to crimes against men. So this video is over a year ago, and the title is Layla Redcakes went to jail for stabbing a guy in the back 32 times. How on earth are you letting this woman into your house, mate? You really need to rethink about who you're fucking letting in your circle. Because if, if she snuck in, guaranteed there's a whole bunch of other shitheads around you as well. <laughs> that never happens in my interviews, I'll tell you. Court order. For, for getting whooped on? No, for stabbing a nigga in the back 32 times with some keys. Fuck you talking <laughs> His face. It happens. It happens? When? I can talk about it because I already served time for it, so. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> How does this woman seem like a good person to have sex with? Because I'm, you know, I've made mistakes like anyone, but fucking hell, mate. This is amazing. Now look, Kiara, here's the thing, Kiara. You probably like, oh no, hell no. He can't do that shit. He recorded without my headset. What the fuck is going on? Oh no. So he's insinuating that she is going to now shit herself, that he's got the calls and he can prove that she was blackmailing him. Mate, you're not dealing with who you think. Clearly, you never have been, in fact. We're talking about a woman who stabbed a dude 32 times in the back with some keys. Consequences and the law don't apply in her brain. A bit of blackmail, that's light work. She stabbed this dude 32 fucking times. Do you know how hard it is to just keep stabbing someone for that long? This ain't a, a, a sane, rational person here. She doesn't give a shit, man. Not one fuck given. We're going to take it to court. What I dropped the money to make an example out of you to make sure that this is gonna happen 
Absolutely. I mean, good luck to him. I hope he fucking does that. I hope he absolutely destroys her. And if I was him, I'd probably do the same thing at this point. What she's done is so bad, he has every right to go and end her financially. Not a problem with that. And actually, she should do jail time for this. Actually, real proper jail time for that. Because she's clearly got previous and she's not a fucking good egg. So just financial impact isn't enough, especially when she probably hasn't got that much money to start off with. A financial blow to her like this is like stepping off of the curb onto the road, right? It's not a big drop she needs jail time after this the mad thing is this dude met her on a live stream where he was like talking to random chicks online wait talk about some of your shit send him shit send him shit right now wait hold on what's your name shorty layla red cakes three Ma s's uh, layla red cakes three s's i'm rock i'm rock i'm rock i'm rock i'm rock do you have kids let me see let me see, let me see. What are we doing? <laughs> I mean, so shit, like, uh, so like, oh, uh, like, you got kids? You're like, you're enough too. Do you got kids or some shit or not? You wanna give me a kid? Or like, nah? Not yet. This is why, dudes, in his position, as much as it may not seem the right idea at the time, because attention is like a drug and you can't help but, you know, get lost in it. Become a one woman man as early as possible. It will save you from so much shit. I'm telling you now, this is the solution to all of these problems, mate. Every time you're horny, someone needs to be there because we can't allow you to do this dumb shit ever again. So here's her attitude after being threatened with court. I mean, since I'm going to court, I might as well leak the news, the addy, the video. Make sure y'all hit that link in my bio. Video coming soon. She's just promoting her OnlyFans. As we said, she doesn't give a fuck. You were supposed to pay me my other half to keep quiet. You did it. I hit you up. You didn't want to respond. You thought I was going to take the little chump change that you paid me not to say nothing off, bitch. I need all my motherfucking funds. Fuck are you talking about? Or I'm just going to put this shit all over the world and I'm going to get my funds from everybody else. This is what happens when you become successful. People don't understand until you're in that moment how bad people are around you, how the way they look at you. Have you seen the way she's just casually threatening him? Like, you've got to give me this, otherwise I'm going to do all this to you. As if that's like fine because you've got money, I want money, I'm entitled to that money. And that's exactly the attitude as a young successful man, he will be getting hit with constantly. Entitlement. Because you're not a person anymore. You're now an opportunity. And the quicker you process that in your head of just because people are nice to you doesn't mean they fucking like you mate and it's hard to get your head around that because everyone wants to be liked so when people are being nice to you for whatever reason they are you want it to be real you want it to be true so you believe it because you want to believe it and he's not the first and he'll not be the last to fall victim to this sort of shit but this is why you do your backup checks one fucking youtube search of her and there's a fucking video of her saying she stabbed someone 32 times mate this is why you Look at the way she communicates. She talks like an aggressive man. Were you expecting her to be some soft, delicate, you know, gentle woman? No. And I'm sure that was part of the appeal, but fucking hell, mate. Even a bit of a dumbass would have seen her coming a mile off. So he really needs to rethink his taste in women. And yes, you damn right. I went over there standing on motherfucking business. Yes, bitch. I want my motherfucking money. You damn right. Bitch. Every time I watch a single video of her, I wonder how the fuck this happened. How did you think that was a good idea? Oh, mate, mate, it's terrible. Luckily, I think it's going to be very hard to find another woman this bad. 99% of women aren't like this, to be fair. So look, I do feel really bad for Kai. Like, he's a young, successful lad, and he's now just being used, and it happens to the best of them. And hopefully, this doesn't happen again. Hopefully, he presses charges and makes sure that she gets what she deserves, and he learns from this. So let me know what you thought of this whole situation in the comments below. If you haven't already hit the like button subscribe to the true geordie youtube channel thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one